What's up guys, it's Johnny O with Value Tech Tube, and my goal is to help you get the most tech for your money. So let's go ahead and jump right into Hell 2 Tuesday, and I'll show you how you can actually use a 64GB or larger SD card with your 3DS. So first we're going to jump into the Windows instructions. So Windows will not natively allow you to format a 64GB or larger SD card as uh, FAT32, which is the only supported file format or file system format for 3DS. Uh, so by default you can only do XFAT or NTFS on a 64GB or larger drive, so we need an extra utility in Windows to help us format as FAT32. It's called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Uh, we're gonna get grab the free edition. Uh, so I'll put the link to this down in the description below. Uh, so you just go down here, click this download link. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, I've checked this install. This one seems to be uh, free of any kind of uh, additional spyware, adware, anything like that. Be careful if you just do a Google search for it and try and download it from a other site, uh, site other than Mini Tool. Um, because a lot of times what these other sites do is when they re-upload it, they include extra packages in there um, that include some sort of adware, or spyware. Uh, so just as you're clicking through the installer, just pay attention before you click next, read what's on the page, so you don't accidentally install any kind of crapware on your system. Uh, so once you've got that downloaded and you run the installer, get Minitool installed, we're going to launch the Minitool Partition Wizard. And once you're in Minitool, we're going to locate our uh, SD card. So for me, that's disk 5 here, unallocated because I've already deleted the disk. But what you want to do is right click it, uh, and then you'll have a delete option here for any partitions that already exist. So I'd recommend deleting any partitions to make sure that you have all unallocated space on your disk. Um, and then you'll go down here and click create. And we're going to say on the partition label, I'm just going to call this 3DS. We're going to make it as partition primary. Uh, file system, we want to change the FAT32. Drive letter is fine. And then we're going to change cluster size to 32 kilobytes. And that's it. You don't have to worry about the rest. Just click OK. And you'll see down here, you'll have two pending operations. And in order to complete this, you'll need to click this apply button in the top left. Uh, so just go ahead and say yes. And this will take just a few moments to go ahead and create your new partition. And there we go, all pending changes uh, applied successfully. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can go ahead and close up Mini Tool, eject your SD card, put it in your 3DS, and you're up and running with a 64GB or larger, if you bought a larger one, uh, SD card. Uh, so I know for sure 64GB works. I know I've seen people have 128GB uh, SD cards work. I don't know if anything larger than 128 will work. Um, but so just you know, do at your own risk. If you find someone else who's already done it and it's been successful, you'll probably be okay. Uh, but like I said, the largest I've personally tried is 64 gigabyte. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and go ahead and check out the links in the description below for my Amazon, Patreon, and Twitter pages, as well as go ahead and make sure you get that sub button hit if you haven't already subbed. If you're already subbed, make sure you hit that bell icon, and that way you never miss a video of mine. Uh, hit the thumbs up on it if you liked it, the thumbs down if you didn't like it. And until next time, I'm Johnny O with Value Tech Tube.